Let's interrupt your brain from forgetting what it just learned about land switching. How? A terminology mind map. You need about six minutes and your brain. You need either a pen and paper or a mind mapping app. I'll walk you through the process as we go along here and then show you my mind map at the end. Let's get into it. So with all of these, you start with a seed term. In this case, it's auto negotiation. So your job is to just make a list. There's no order to the list. You just, whatever comes to mind. If you think of an idea and you can't think of the related term, just jot a few notes about the idea. I'll give you a few seconds to go ahead and hit pause and do phase one of this mind map. All right, next up, we'll talk about how to make the mind map. I'll give you five seconds to hit pause, but here's the idea. You start with the seed term again, and this time you organize it. Look at the list, choose the terms that go together, and place those together somewhere on the mind map. If there's another set of terms that go together, put those somewhere else. If there are terms that don't go with other terms, list those out singly. All right, I'll give you a few seconds to hit pause so you can go and do phase two. Finally, if you want to look at the list I came up with, here you go. It starts with the seed term. It's in alphabetical order. You can look at that, compare to your list, and expand your mind map based on the ones I've added if you'd like. As usual, here's your five seconds to take a pause and go do that. So here's the mind map I came up with. Yours will almost certainly be different but it's just a good perspective to think through. Now, the categories always come later, but the terms I put in the upper part, IEEE auto negotiation as a term, just to remind myself, hey, it's from the IEEE. And then we've got FLP, which I might add an entry to say fast link pulse, so I could remind myself of what the acronym stands for, but I didn't um, put it into the mind map. And then we talked about the idea of encoding to compare to FLPs because FLPs send data for the purpose of auto negotiation, whereas encoding refers to how the electrical signal changes to encode data frames that go across the cable after you've auto negotiated the duplex and speed. And parallel detection, that refers to that process of what does a device do when it wants to use auto negotiation but the other end doesn't want to. Now, off of that, I put the defaults there, a reference to the fact that duplex is chosen by default based on the speed. That was just my way to do it, but you could organize it somewhere else. And then we had some interface settings that we talked about in the content video, like the speed. We referred to these 10, 100, 1000 ports for which you could auto negotiate three different speeds. We talked about a duplex mismatch when going through this parallel detection process. And then for duplex, I organize things as a uh, surprise, full duplex and half duplex. But under half duplex, I further organized into this idea of, well, we talked about the term CSMA, CD, and collisions. So that's just how I organize it. You might put them all in one list together, but you want to think through that and you might think, well, what goes together or not? Well, in particular, collisions and CSMA, CD don't happen with full duplex. That's why I organized it there. I hope you enjoyed this mind mapping exercise. As usual, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified of new videos. And as always, give me a comment, share it, help me build the channel, let me know what's on your mind. Hey, thanks for hanging out and I'll talk to you soon.